Christmas is my favorite time of year, and it has been a lifelong dream to come to Europe during the holiday season to see these quaint old towns come alive with the festive spirit. There's a charm to the cobblestone streets and colorful row homes being transformed into a winter wonderland. In a search for some of the best markets, I spent the first few weeks of December going to five markets in five different countries to compare and contrast how different regions mark this cozy holiday. My third market stop was Luxembourg City, and here's how it went. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to Luxembourg. This is my third stop along my Christmas market tour of Western Europe, and I'm going to five different countries to check out five of the best Christmas markets here in this part of Europe. So before this, I just came from Heidelberg and Strasbourg. Now I'm here in Luxembourg city, and then I'm heading to Liege, Belgium and Maastricht, Netherlands to conclude my tour here. So I'm about halfway through my Christmas market tour. And so here in Luxembourg, I'm gonna be checking out the Christmas markets in Luxembourg city, which is the capital and the main city of Luxembourg and Luxembourg is just this tiny little country. It's landlocked between Belgium, France and Germany. It's this very elegant, luxurious looking city. It's naturally fortified up on this plateau. So you have the old town that's up above this river valley and then you look down into these cute little old towns and you have these really colorful pastel yellow and coral on all of the buildings and these really nice stone castles and churches. Very cool city being up here elevated above the rest of it and you just have beautiful views all around. And here in Luxembourg we have about three Christmas markets and then one skating rink area and Two of the main Christmas markets are going to be up here in the Old Town and then the skating rink is on the edge of the Old Town here. And then there's one part of the Christmas market that's down the hill a little bit in the rest of the city. So yeah, really looking forward to showing you guys a little bit of Luxembourg City here, checking out a few of the Christmas markets. So let's head on into the Old Town here and we'll start with one of the main Christmas markets in the center of the Old Town. So I'm just entering the old town of Luxembourg City here up on the hill and I'm about to head to Place des Arms which is this little square right in the middle and that's where the most traditional of the Christmas markets here since 1984 has been held. So let's head into the center of Place des Arms and check out the first Christmas market here in Luxembourg. That was the little market here in Place des Arms. It's not that big of a square. It's just one big square that kind of goes around the middle of the park. But around the edge of the square here, you have a bunch of restaurants and shops. So you have open air seating along the edge of the market. And then right in the middle of the market, there's a massive life-size nativity scene. That's kind of the center of it all. And then you have just a bunch of different food stands and there's a variety of different foods. You can get some grilled foods, but they even have like an Asian noodles place. There were a couple craft stores. There was this one Christmas ornament store that you could walk in and check out some nutcrackers and some handcrafts there. And then near the edge, you have this giant Christmas tree. And then of course, like with every Christmas market so far, there's a carousel for the kids in the corner there. And one thing that they did really well is there was just nice Christmas music being pumped through the entire market there. So, but yeah, lots of places just hang out, 
a lot of places to grab some hot drinks and very cool atmosphere and energy there in the Place des Armes. So now we're gonna walk just about a block and a half down this walking street here to the edge of the old town of Luxembourg to Constitution Square, which is right on the edge, kind of on the cliff of the escarpment here. And I think that'll be the biggest market here and there's gonna be a Ferris wheel and everything. So let's head over to Constitution Square and check out the market there. just entered Constitution Square here, which is right on the edge of the old town of Luxembourg. So you're kind of right on the edge of these cliffs here and you can look down onto the river gorge here. You can look across and see some castles and some elegant buildings along the way. And in the Constitution Plaza here, there's this giant Christmas tree right on the edge, but then there's this Ferris wheel. There's the pyramid, which is this three-storied wooden thing behind me with some twirling figures, similar to what we saw in Heidelberg with a propeller at the top. And there's a little bar beneath that. And then throughout here, it feels just a little bit more like a festival or carnival. There's a lot of fair rides. So there's like Christmas tree that takes kids swirling around there. There's the Ferris wheel. There's some carnival games where you can win some prizes. But then there's just a lot of different food places. There's actually an indoor restaurant here where you can sit and just have a nice view over looking here. And then again, just a lot of places to get some hot wine. A lot of people just hanging out, talking and congregating just in this big open plaza. And this plaza is probably like four or five times bigger than the other one. So there's a lot more room to walk around. There's also a smattering of shops and different, you know, chocolate and candy stores and little craft shops. And then all of this is right beneath the shadow of the Notre Dame Cathedral, which just has these beautiful spires here. And again, just nice Christmas music is pumping through the whole place here. So let's walk around Constitution Square here and check out the Christmas vibes at this market. So that was the little market here at Constitution Plaza, right on the edge of Old Town. And again, it's quite quite a big place. So there's a lot to like walk around and see throughout the whole plaza. A little bit tackier. Again, it kind of has like a, a state fair, festival, carnival feel with all the rides and just everything's a little bit more plasticky looking than some of the more traditional markets that we've seen in like Germany and France. But Pretty cool, very lively, and again, you just have these beautiful views being on the edge of the old town, looking over Luxembourg City, and then having some of these church steeples right here. So I'm gonna head back across the old town now to the northern part, and there's a little park that kind of surrounds the old town to the edge there, and there's a nice ice skating rink, and there should be a couple more food stands and chalets, everything up there. So let's walk through the old town and check out the ice skating rink on the other side of town.
I have just walked through the old town of Luxembourg there and it's really not that big of a place but it's so elegant. You just have all of these beautiful winding streets. It's almost all pedestrian. There's barely any cars in the old town and every building just has this soft yellow pastel color to it. Really pretty, a lot of nice cafes and yeah, beautiful little city. But now I'm on the north side of the town here and there's this little green park that kind of wraps itself halfway around the old town of Luxembourg City. And in the park here, we have another little winter market and it's where the ice skating rink is. And there's just a small little eating area, just mostly like food stalls. So let's head into the park here and check out the skating rink in Luxembourg. I've just come to the winter market which is on the edge of the old town here and it's where we have this nice little skating rink and so it has almost like an L shape to it so you can kind of weave in and out a little bit and then out here we just have this big open food court food hall kind of feel and there's some open fires to warm up there's lots of places to get food and drinks and it has a ski lodge type feel. Everything's just all wooden and you can just smell the smoke and then you can just get a drink, you can get some food and sit here and just watch the skaters go by. And there's music and then at night they have DJs here so they'll have some live music in the lodge there. Like I was here last night and this place was just packed with people. So yeah, very cool place to come out a little bit on the edge of town and just to watch some skaters and get some nice Christmas vibes here. Alright guys, that was the little ice skating rink and winter market out here in the park. And kind of cool because you're just a little bit more out in nature here. It has a forested feel and you just can smell the smoke from all of the fires and a nice little place to warm up, watch some people ice skate. And again, has a bit of like a food court so you can buy some food, buy some drink and hang out there a little bit. But honestly not too big, not too much to do there. There's not so much Christmas stuff. It's a little bit more of just like a winter market, nice lights and everything. So now I'm gonna head to the last market of Luxembourg here. I'm gonna go around this park here, around the old town and then head down into the newer part of Luxembourg there. And there's one more market, the Niklos Mart in the Place de Paris. So let's head down there and check out the last little part of the Luxembourg Christmas markets here. I've just walked down from the old town a little bit and we're in a more newer part of Luxembourg. We're near the main train station, just a few more blocks that way. And we're in Place de Paris, which is this kind of open circle here, but we have a tram line and a road cutting right through it. So this market's kind of separated into two parts. There's this half to the left where we have this giant Christmas tree and a couple shops and stalls and a bar area. And then there's the other side of the market on the other side of the tram line where it looks like there's some rides and a couple more stalls. So let's walk around the Place de Paris here and just check out the Christmas market in this other part of Luxembourg.
So on this side of the market here, it's just this open area. Again, we have the Christmas tree and it's over 66 feet tall and it's made up of 350 smaller Christmas trees and has over a quarter million lights on it. And then we have this other little hut here where they're selling some snacks. And then beneath the Christmas tree, it's also a bar area where you can get your hot wine and other different drinks. And then along the edge here, you just have a couple different market stalls, some snack shops, and you can buy some hats and gloves and a couple craft markets. And then in the corner, we have Santa's house. And it's like a two-story thing. And we have Santa coming down from the roof. And in the bottom, you have this little living room area. So I think they do some performances and some shows there, some live music at different times. So. And then just all throughout the middle here, you have all of these wooden stumps that you can just congregate at and have your drinks and hang out with your friends. So let's head over the rail line here to the other side of the Christmas market in Place de Paris and check out that side. So on this side of the Place de Paris, you have a bunch of more food stalls and places to sit and eat. There's like one or two craft stalls over here, but the main attraction is Santa and his reindeer here. So you, it's a little like carnival ride again where you can go ride the reindeer and you just spin around the Santa Claus here in the middle. And there's fun music playing and yeah, some cool stuff to do. So. Anyways guys, that's about it for my market tour here in Luxembourg City. Overall, Luxembourg had some of the biggest displays like the Ferris wheel and a lot of these rides and some of the markets, especially the Constitution Plaza, it was like a mini fairground there. And it also seemed to be a lot of activities again with the Ferris wheel and a lot of these rides for kids and everything and then just these giant displays with different Christmas decorations and yeah so very cool but I, I mean I just came from Strasbourg so it's not a very fair comparison but once you leave a lot of the markets here it feels like there's not as much Christmas decorations throughout the city like in Strasbourg every little alley and every little shop was just exploding with Christmas decorations and Christmas activities and so the whole town was just like consumed by Christmas whereas here you just have these little pockets and then even these pockets here they're not as charming as some of the markets in Germany and France so far again it has almost a bit more of a carnival or a fair feel but still very fun Christmas festive vibe and it's also been the coldest I've been yet it's been very very cold here and so I've been like freezing and it's been harder to film things throughout the day. But anyways guys, that's it for Luxembourg. Tomorrow I'm heading off to Belgium. We're gonna go check out the markets in Liege and then we're gonna go to Maastricht in Netherlands and check out some of the Christmas markets in some of those smaller towns just a few hours away from here in Luxembourg. So thanks for joining me on the Luxembourg tour. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing how they celebrate Christmas here in the capital of Luxembourg, the small country in between Belgium, France, and Germany. And I'll see you guys in Belgium tomorrow.